going on everyone? It's Nick here with NJ Paint. Just took the time to set up this brand new Sherwin-Williams bag. It's got a lot of really cool features. A lot of stuff that's really designed for us painters. I think uh, the best way to go over everything would probably be to set it up with you guys. Show you guys some of the job site essentials that I like to carry with me in a little bit of a kit. Um, this bag was really designed for us. It's got a lot of cool hooks that you could hang things, tons of room, more hooks for stuff on the side, can carry a pole. Um, let's dive right into it. So this bag is brand new. It's never been used. Open it up here. Got a pocket here with tons of room. Lots of open space. I guess first thing to be would be to load up some brushes, throw a stallmeister in there. You can grab one of your purdies, a Wooster, Picasso, or a Corona, whatever your pick is. Still lots of room left. Now I do like to keep my brushes going upside down, but it seems to be every bag they design, they're all facing up. It's one thing I don't love, but all in all, this is definitely the best bag so far that uh, I've seen. Um, got room for a caulking gun. Don't forget your tubes. Zip that up. Grab a pull. It's nice and snug right there. That's definitely a luxury. Most times it's sticking out really awkwardly, but this fits perfect. Flip it around, you've got tons of room on this side. This is the side. We've got some more compartments here where you can put some stuff. Pretty cool. I guess start with some tape. Grab a drill. Never know when you're going to need that. A couple more little things here. This side, I would just use it for little gadgets that. Uh, things you need on a daily basis. Screwdriver with lots of bits. I like to carry a punch and a little baby hammer. Get made fun of on the construction sites, but for what we do, just punching in little holes, it's perfect. Doesn't take up a whole tool bag. Set of Allen keys. Never know when you're gonna need those. on to some Ulfa Essentials. Got the little mini 9mm, some scissors, and then the stainless steel MXP. I like to bring extra power. You never know when you're going to need a couple outlets. Never know when there's going to be some bad work, you need to rip some stuff off. This little red bar does the trick every time. And this guy is really good for if something's sticking out or you just need some teeth to pull. This thing has came in handy plenty of times for me. Some chalk to mark up your plaster so you can see if your colors are off and it's not going to show. And a measuring tape. Close that up. Whatever your hooks on the side. Perfect place to put a little handy paint pail. Could probably fit a couple. Some more storage here for some other stuff. And there's some hooks on these sides too. Which is pretty cool. You can fit a few things. But the 3M hand masker is definitely something 
that needs to be on every job site. Got a little card holder in the back. This side too, you've got room for pens and Sharpies, pencils, whatever you need to carry. Little, wa little water bottle holder and then in some more room right there. So yeah, I mean, this thing isn't even close to capacity. You could stuff a lot more things in it. Um, but I've never seen a bag quite like this. Uh, I did use this Milwaukee bag for a little while. Um, it was pretty cool. It's nice that it's a backpack. Can fit a fair amount of stuff in it, but nothing compared to this. Um, and the new Purdy bag that dropped too, I didn't get a chance to take a look yet, but from what I've seen, I don't think it quite keeps up with how designed this is to us painters. Like, it's absolutely perfect. Um, don't know like I've switched to completely festival sustainers for most of my stuff what I think I'm gonna use this for is when I drop off uh, tools and materials for the guys on quick jobs like a bedroom a bathroom uh, quick in and outs this is great just here you go boys good luck everything they need will be in there um, comment below let me know how you would use it if this would be your uh, if you'd buy a bunch of these things or just one let me hear your feedback, or if you have any other questions, let me know. I can go over it a bit more in depth. Uh, those are just my first thoughts on the bag. I haven't had a chance to get out into the field with it yet, because this whole pandemic thing going on, but I'm excited to get back to work and uh, start using my tools again. The brushes are getting pretty lonely without any action. Alright everyone, peace.